Okay, guys, so now we're gonna work on readability. Readability is a very cool problem that tests your skills on for loops, your understanding about functions. We already solved that in C, so check this now in Python. If you wanna get a job as a developer without a degree, take a look at the description below. We have the three steps for you to become a developer. So now we're gonna take a look on how readability works. Readability is pretty simple. We basically get a, a text, uh, for example, one of those texts you see, would you like here, blah, 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 blah. And then we're going to get the number of words, the number of sentences, and the number of letters. Based on that, we're going to get, use the Coleman Leo function, which is this one highlighted here. And we're going to get L and S. L will be uh, calculated using the number of letters. And S will be used by getting the number of sentences per 100 words. So now let's take a look and see how it actually looks like. Observe how clean this looks. We need to define a main function, unlike C, where we just created int main. And then we get the text, so we'll call getString, a method that comes from the CS50 library. And observe how clean it looks. So just by looking at the functions, num letters, num words, num sentences, you already get a pretty good idea of what we're gonna try to do in this problem. Using those, those three variables, we calculate the grade level and then we print the grade level. So pretty straightforward. We did a similar thing in C. So if you look in C, we did the very same thing. We used functions. We made our functions clear, understandable. And the only thing now is that we are using Python syntax. Uh, so now let's look how each function works. So we'll start with get num letters. So get num letters, we're basically passing the text. Uh, we the text comes from the input. And what we do is we just loop through the text, getting each letter, and then we use this function called is alpha, which is also available in C. And then as we see alpha numeric, just I mean just alpha letter. Uh, which is what we're interested in. we're going to increment the variable l and give it back to main because that will be used later on uh, to calculate the grade level now we'll take a look at get num words so it's pretty similar to get num letters except that every time we see a space we increment the words by one observe we have a, a last w plus equals one because Think about it, if we have a sentence with two words, it has only one space in between, but it has two words, so you need to give one more words than you have spaces. Finally, we get the num of sentences, so uh, in our context, a sentence is incremented when we have a period, exclamation mark or question mark, and instead of using an or, not an and, an or, so like we did in C, Let's take a look and see how we did this. So in C, we just did a NOR statement. Yes. So we checked if the current one was a period, blah, blah, blah. We use OR. Here we're using the IN function. We put all those signs in an array, use IN. That will give us a Boolean telling us if the current uh, character is either a period, exclamation mark, or question mark. And then we increment s, give it back to main, which is what we wanted to get in order for us to get the grade level. We pass all those information we calculate to get grade level using that formula. So using that formula that we saw. So one interesting thing is that uh, if we use the division sign in Python, that will give us a float. In C, if we just use the division sign, that would cut off the decimal points in Python. So 